So, hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, earlier on, we had actually requested that uh, we do uh, Android login and sign up interface. Now, uh, the concepts that I'll be explaining uh, in this tutorial are majorly on intents. How can you use intents and how can you use intent to open activities? I'll also teach, uh, do some uh, some exercises on how to manipulate the Android manifest, the manifest file. We can see how we can use the launch mode to tag uh, to open uh, instances of activities, and uh, of course, uh, I hope that you guys will get something from the same. Okay, so here I am in uh, uh, Adobe XD. Now this is a software that is normally used by software engineers for UX and UI work. So uh, first of all, uh, before we uh, create any interface, we normally uh, come to uh, Adobe XD. We uh, come and create projects. Then we can design the interface. And then later on, we can just take it and place it in Android Studio. Uh, but for now, I will not actually uh, uh, go on this since uh, I had some assets, some screenshots of the uh, UI that I was supposed to be creating and uh, I'll show you that so uh, there's no need to go down this path otherwise we'll be doing this in earlier in later uh, videos on how to use uh, Adobe XD and how we can import this project into Android Studio but for the, uh, that aside I hope you guys will uh, learn something so before I take you guys straight to Android Studio, uh, I have a bunch of pictures here that, um, that I had earlier told you that we were supposed to be doing. So this is gen generally the interface that we'll be writing in Android Studio. Uh, this is the login interface that we're going to be using. So uh, I have another image here for the sign up interface and this is exactly how it's supposed to look like. And of course, we are not going to add or remove anything. This is how it's going to be and this is how we're going to do it. So uh, having said all, all that and we've seen uh, the clearly how the UI is supposed to look like when we just go ahead and fix this in Android Studio so here I am in Android Studio and as we said clearly that we are supposed to be writing a UI login and UI sign up okay I created a new activity a new project I'm sorry for that a new project and I have two activities here uh, one the main activity and the sign up activity to Java. Now, uh, this uh, the main activity dot XML is where I'm going to be writing my UI login, and this way I'm going to be writing my sign up uh, UI. Uh, when we just go ahead and see. So, um, the first thing that we're going to do is to remove this root component and add a relative layout into add a relative layout, and we're going to remove this. Yeah, we're going to remove this and you need to add a linear layout we are going to give it a layout gravity a gravity of center Then inside here we're going to uh, have a text view. You wrap content, wrap content. Then uh, the text is going to be sign in, and we're going to give it a, a text size of 24 sp, and the text color to black. So the next thing that we're going to include is the text input layout. The text input layout, much parent. And we'll give it a email address email address then inside here you're going to add uh, 
text input edit text it's here and which parent content and we're going to be giving this uh edit text on id so that you can reference it later we call it uh the email edit text and we'll give the input type as email text email address okay I uh, know that that's done you're going to go ahead and copy this because we are <laughs> we are programmers and we are lazy and we'll pr put it there and this time round, uh, the hint here is going to be password instead. Password. And instead of email address or the ID, we give it password. We give it password. Uh, the next thing that we had following in the user interface was a button. The button of much parent. And drop content. And its text was sign in. Sign in. So all these inside the relative layout was supposed to be uh, at the top. So we align this to top of the relative layout. Then we had uh, a text view below. You're going to add a text view and we give it a much parent of content. And the text is And we'll call this sign up link. One thing that we should not ignore is a uh, focusable. You set it to true and clickable also we set it to true then we can use the background as selectable item background so our user interface is supposed to look like this on the other side so we can just add some yeah there's something we forgot to do align this to bottom then we give it a gravity of center also and some padding of 16 dp yeah and the next thing we're going to be adding is uh, the margins Margin top
and voila we have the interface now the only thing that is meaning for us to do is actually to uh, connect uh, this use the user elements to our uh, main activity so we have a uh, like Have the email and the password now we have it for sign up then we have a button Everything is set, so we come and find them here. Our ID dot um, the email email address any text and, and password. I'm clearly sure we'd not give uh, references to uh, these two variables and that's what you're going to be doing right now uh, okay we gave this one the sign up text view and the button we didn't give it so let's just go ahead and give it an ID to sign in And uh, we are left with uh, the sign up text view. Okay, now that we found all these, uh, first of all, let's deal with the button, the sign. The sign in button. Uh, I'm signing. You set an on click listener to this one. So, uh, we uh, the first thing that we want to do is uh, we start a new activity. this then we go to our uh, sign up okay we are supposed to have a, a home activity so let's just create one here Java new activity and we click on empty activity then we call it home activity click finish so once a user uh, logs in this is the activity we will, be, we will be opening the home activity home activity dot class now uh, for the sign up m sign up m sign up we set an on click listener to that one
then we can now start an, an activity uh, then we go to the sign up activity to class okay one thing we are not supposed to be forgetting is and our manifest file our main acti uh, main activity we are supposed to give it a launch mode of single top and we make uh, the rest uh, an activity like like the sign up activity we give it a parent activity and we call it main activity then we uh, open a tag a metadata tag and we give it the android value and the android name Yes, so there is uh, one element that we didn't add here, which is the text view that was supposed to be below here that indicates uh, whether a user has forgotten uh, the password or not. So you're going to wrap content this and wrap content. And the text here, you forgot password. We give it on the text size, we give it like twelve SP. Yeah, we give it the margin margin of 16 margin top of 16 dp so at the end of all this then you're supposed to be getting something that looks like this of which is actually very much closer and very close to uh, the interface that we are supposed to be creating now in the next episode I'll add colors to button and to text and uh, we can add um, some styling to the edit text and we try to make it uh, look as uh, the UI that we had actually seen before so uh, having said all that you guys take care